there's something special going on in Sarasota. And that's driven by the creativity that exists here in this community. Historically, our industries such as hospitality, construction, healthcare are very strong. They continue to be strong. But there's a difference about Sarasota because of the creativity that lives here, the creativity that comes out of Ringling College of Art and Design, um, new colleges here, that's the state's honors college, and also we have world-class arts and cultural institutions here. And when you have that type of creativity, it bleeds into business. We're still a small town, we're a small community. We are not a large city. We're not like Tampa or Orlando or Miami. We're different. If you're an, for instance, an entrepreneur who's looking for a community that they feel embraced in, that they have resources in, that they feel connectivity in, Sarasota is the place for you. When we at the Economic Development Corporation think about attracting companies and what kind of companies we want to be here, we know that we have an environment that supports creative industries, technology, um, and entrepreneurialism. And so as we're marketing, we're marketing to those types of industries. But also, we have an amazing entrepreneurial community that already exists here. Sarasota is an extremely desirable place to be. And so we attract people who come here to work, to retire. Uh, we have an incredibly diverse community, and in my opinion, a very unique community in that. We have world-class beaches here, world-class arts and culture, um, amazing higher education, and we're unique, we're special, and we attract individuals from all over the world. You know, when we look back at what Sarasota was five, 10 years ago, we're, we're different, we're, we're, we're growing. Um, and so in order to make sure that we continue to be diverse and that we continue to um, be a place where our young people can stay, we have to be thoughtful about workforce housing, affordable housing, about developing jobs and opportunities and supporting uh, our, our workforce uh, and trying to help them feel integrated into our community, have ownership here. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it, right? But we, we hear all the time Young people maybe move away, they go to a bigger metro area, and then they come back, you know, similar to yourself. And you come back because you realize important things like our phenomenal school system, our quality of life, um, their draws to come back. And so we continue to hear that story over and over that people who come back and get re-engaged with the community. When you walk around Sarasota and you talk to our residents and people on the street, not only one, are they very, very friendly and welcoming. Um, a lot of people are from somewhere else and they've chosen to be here. And that creates an environment of a community that is giving back, that is engaged. A lot of people who come here bring, whether it's their business or maybe they're a retired CEO, um, and they participate. And I think that is the big thing that makes a difference within our community. If we have challenges or we have roadblocks, our community gets together and has those conversations. Philanthropy gets behind it. Government gets behind it. We say, how can we fix those problems? And our community is full of expertise from around the world, right? And so we can bring diverse viewpoints to help solve problems. Our bread and butter is small business and it's growing those small businesses into bigger businesses. The Small Business Administration, the SBA, considers any company under 500 people as a small business. The vast majority of our companies in Sarasota County would fall under that and be technically considered small businesses to our federal government. There is a lot of business support in Sarasota. I work 
at a public-private partnership that is employed simply to assist business, right? And the organization I work for is a nonprofit. We never charge for any of our services. And if you go on our website, you can search through a number of resources. There's over 50 of them actually in our community, depending on what you're looking for. So some examples are SCORE. We have an amazing group of SCORE mentors that are here. Uh, SBDC is very strong here. If you're a company and you're like, where do I start? How do I launch this company? How do I make a business plan? What's a marketing plan? How do I talk to banks? SBDC will walk you through that and help you for free. It's a free resource. Uh, we have very strong chambers throughout the Sarasota area uh, that are um, cutting edge and they are helping our business community um, in ways that I'm very, very proud of. The airport is a very important piece of the business infrastructure in Sarasota. In fact, SRQ Airport is the fastest growing airport in the country. And so every single direct flight that our airport adds, and they've added a lot over the last couple of years, opens up a new business market for Sarasota. When an executive, a CEO is making a decision about their business expansion or relocation, they want to have easy access between their business operations or maybe you know, where their family was if they're relocating to Sarasota. So every time that SRQ adds another direct flight option, that opens up a, a lot of possibility for expanded business within our community. Workforce housing is a very important piece to the business um, ecosystem, right? Your employees need to have somewhere to live. And much like all over the country, we're seeing cost of living rising. And that has been a trend in cities all over the country and the world since COVID. And so in order to, to combat that and make sure that we maintain a diversity of housing options, we've got to be thoughtful. Um, and our, our leadership has got to be thoughtful in how to do that. Um, and I do believe they have, I, I do believe so. Um, we talk about affordable housing and workforce housing in this community, um, it's not just the city government, but philanthropy gets behind it too. And business and industry get behind it too. Um, so it's not a unique challenge to Sarasota. I am confident with the resources that we have here and the commitment that we have here that we will do a good job at making sure that we have diverse options in housing. Creating diverse jobs in Sarasota is key, in my opinion. It is something that we must do is something that I work every day to do. In fact, um, we have extremely strong industries in healthcare, hospitality, construction. They're wonderful and important industries. But when we experience, um, whether it's a natural disaster or a pandemic, when you're only so reliant in certain industries, you are vulnerable. You cannot thrive. And so what the EDC is working every day to do is to market and attract and grow diversifying industries so that our economy is diverse and our, our jobs are diverse. And that way, as we encounter, whether it's a natural disaster or a pandemic, we are going to be less impacted. It's very important to our economy that we continue to strive to be more diverse in our industries. In order to be a thriving economy, you need to have a diverse business pool. And so I do not believe that there's too much of any one business, but I do believe that we as a community should be intentional to attract and grow diverse business. Sarasota is undergoing a transformation. And you see that in the 50 acre Bay Project, where it's a city owned piece of property and what they're doing is investing through a public-private partnership and through philanthropy and fundraising to develop a park for all with amenities that, that everybody can enjoy. And that speaks volumes to our city uh, and what we're investing in and what we want. Um, 
Also, Moat Marine is embarking on a $300 million state-of-the-art aquarium and research center. And these, these are transformational projects that um, are gonna have a huge impact on Sarasota and the Sarasota area. And as businesses are looking for a place to land or a place to grow, they wanna be a part of a community that's exciting and that's investing back into things like the Bay Project. It's very important to businesses when they're choosing their next home and their next location. Businesses are an integral part in a thriving community. Businesses, they create, create opportunities for workforce that supports their family, and they set a tone for the community. Sarasota has businesses that are creative, they're innovative, they're solving worldwide problems, but they're also giving back in huge ways. In today's world, a community thrives when they're thoughtful, uh, when they're inclusive, um, when they're purposefully creating opportunities for everyone within their community. And when I say they, it's not just government, it's not just business, it's not just you know, churches, it's everybody plays a role in creating a thriving community and nobody can be left out. We are one of the most philanthropic communities in the country. And actually, if you look at our philanthropy per capita, we are one of the top communities in the country as far as giving back goes. And you see that in every, frankly, every corner of Sarasota. Um, and I attribute that to uh, many things, but you know, what I get the opportunity to see is the individuals that come here, move here, whether it's a retired CEO um, or an executive, and they, they give back, right? They care. After Hurricane Ian, many of our child care facilities were greatly impacted. They had lost their fences. And a child care facility has to have operational fence in order to continue service, serving the children. And when the Brancic Foundation heard that many of our child care facilities had stopped serving children simply because of their fences, they committed to sponsor the repair of any child care facilities fence in order to get those facilities back up and running and to get those parents able to get back to work. And that is indicative of how quickly our philanthropic community gets to work when there's a need. There's a large amount of wealth here in Sarasota. And quite frankly, people put their money where their mouth is here. They give back. What I would say to Sarasota's future residents is please be mindful of the legacy and the foundation that has been laid in Sarasota and continue to honor all the things that make Sarasota special. There's something special going on in Sarasota right now. We're undergoing a transformation here. There's an incredible amount of opportunity here in Sarasota and it's a very exciting time for those here. What are your highest hopes for Sarasota? Mm -hmm. As a woman in business in Sarasota, as a woman that's about to be a first time mother to a little girl, I hope that she grows up in a Sarasota that makes her feel welcome and a part of the community. I hope that she chooses to stay here and I hope that she finds great opportunity here. And I hope that she gets to experience Sarasota in the same way that we get to experience Sarasota.